who do you think is the greatest badass of all time? Kie, Sasuke, or Vegeta? What's up everybody, from Number World here today to do a discussion and kind of ask you guys a question. What are your mindsets on between Sasuke, Kie, Vegeta, who do you think is the greatest badass? And, you know, these three are kind of the three main ones that came to my mind when I was thinking, well, who are the badasses that really set the trend for the most part, or were the big ones of their series? And definitely these three just popped into my head. If you don't know who each of them are, I'll put a little thing in the description, and I'll give you a brief synopsis of each of them so you can kind of get a grasp of who they are. Sasuke, you probably know him, but I'll tell you anyway. Sasuke Uchiha, he's from the show Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, Manga, whatever. And uh, he's basically the last survivor of his clan, the Uchiha clan. He always wants revenge. He goes throughout these two series an emotional roller coaster ride, not knowing who to trust because he's been manipulated. He's easily manipulated a lot, but he always, when he gets into a battle, he goes crazy and he tries, you know, he just goes nuts with his power. He tries his hardest and he just wants revenge for what he feels like he was wrong. You know, his whole clan was slaughtered and he just wants the truth. But at the same time, he always gets lost in these people manipulating him. And he's always just been, you know, a badass. Some of his powers are the Chidori, which is a electric shock thingy that he goes and attacks you with like a energy thingy or whatever in his hand. He also has Materasu, which is uh, burning flames. And he has Suzano, which is this big, um, monstrous flame guy that he could attack you and defend himself with. So that's Sasuke Uchiha, Vegeta. Uh, you know, his planet was destroyed when he was younger. He was forced to be a space pirate for most of his life. Then he goes to planet Earth and meets these people. Uh, after getting his butt whipped, you know, trying to conquer them and getting his butt whipped, he eventually slowly but surely becomes a quote-unquote good guy. Or kind of like the anti-hero, you know, he's the hero but he does things his way. He's going to blast and hurt anybody to, you know, save the people or you know, I guess achieve his goal, and that's pretty much all there is to Vegeta, and also he wants to be the greatest Saiyan, because Goku Kakarot is, you know, the greatest, and he always wants to pass him, and it's kind of always a jealousy slash rivalry between him and Goku, Goku's never really jealous, it's always Vegeta, but last but not least, you got Hiei, who's short, strong, and, you know, always ready for action, he's from the show Yu Yu Hakusho in the manga, and basically Hiei, he... You know, you don't really know who he is for most of the series. You know who he is, but you don't really know his true motives or whatever. You see here and there glimpses of it. And basically, he's the... I guess he was abandoned by his race. He was thrown off the mountain when he was little by his ice clan or whatever. And he wants revenge on them. Some of his powers are the Dragon of Darkness Flame, where he can make this huge dragon come out of his arm right here. He rips off the bandages and a huge black devilish flame dragon comes out and you know he could annihilate you with that or he could also uh, fuse with the dragon and just become monstrously strong definitely a very powerful guy and always just really such a badass so with that being said I say between the three of them honestly he is probably the most badass and the reason I say that is not only because yes I know a lot of you people know I'm a Yu Yu Hakusho fanboy but I believe he's just always with that you know, because he is a demon. He's not a human. He's a demon. And he always just has this thing that, like, he always says the right thing at the right time. He's always, like, you know, he wants to get things done. Yeah, uh, Sasuke and Vegeta, they are as well. However, with this guy, it's like, he will cut you. He will slice you. He's like, wait, isn't that okay for me to kill the bad humans either? He just always wants to, I don't know, he's just such a raw character, you know. It's like... With Sasuke, you'll see both sides of him, you know, throughout the series, you start off with seeing this young and innocent kid, little by little change and be corrupted by what society is in his time, and, you know, just turn into this monster. With Vegeta, you'll see, you know, there's even a point where he's on the floor crying, by the way, he's from Dragon Ball Z, in case you don't know, but I'm sure you do, and, um, you know, you see him on the floor crying, you see him, you, you've seen him in different situations, for the most part, he's just always stern and focused on, you know, getting to be the strongest in the universe or being the strongest staying alive but you know with those two characters like with Vegeta is always you see a lot of more so jealousy and just really wanting to surpass one particular character of course when the main villain is there like you know Cell or Frieza or Majin Buu he does want to beat them as well and save the earth but for the most part it's always Goku 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 and he still is a badass one of the greatest of all time but I just feel like he is just like that much more powerful than both of them as far as not power level as far as just of being a badass like 
one particular scene that I'll never forget, and I always quote this when I talk with my friends, and I'll say it one more time right here, is that there was a scene where Sensui killed Yusuke Yurameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho, and I'll never forget the line where he says, you know, he starts running, ripping off his bandages, taking out the dragon of the darkest flame, and he says, YOU BASTARD! And he just goes crazy attacking him, and he knows there's no chance of him and his friends winning because this guy is a S class power level, and there I believe A classes. He says, you know, I'm gonna get you, you bastard! And I'll never forget the goosebumps. And even when I talk about it, I still get them. Um, when I heard that line, and when I see that character go crazy and attack, and in my opinion, he is the greatest badass. But then again, that's my opinion. What is your opinion? Do you think Sasuke? Vegeta or Hiei is the greatest badass. Or do you think another character that I didn't mention? To be honest with you, I think those three are some of the main ones that anybody, when they think of, you know, the Shonen-esque anime and they think of the badass, one of those will probably come to their mind. But, you know, if you can think of another one, list them. Feel free to list them as well in the comment section below or with a video response. Who do you think is the greatest badass of all time? I said Hiei, you might think Sasuke, you might think Vegeta. Let me know. <laughs> but that's all I have for this particular video. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for your favorite badass or who you think is the greatest badass of all time. And have an awesome day, people.